In this video, we're going to look at setting up the HUD, which is the heads up display, which will contain things like the score and your health points and any other relative information that you want on every single level. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to open up a level. So let's open up level one. I'm just to make sure everything's set up. So I've got my play, I've got everything else. And then in order to create the HUD, I'm going to create a new scene. Remember, everything kind of is, an, is a scene. So we're going to go to the scene button. We're going to say new scene and we're going to have this empty canvas here. So the next thing I need to do is go to the 2D scene and then we're just going to rename it here to HUD, um, all capitals, H-U-D. Okay, so now we have our HUD. Let's just go ahead and save that. So scene, um, save scene, make sure it's going to be called HUD.TSCN and then press save. I'm just going to save it in our main folder and make sure you've got all your other levels here just to make sure it's going into the correct folder. So press save. So now that's done, what we're going to do to make sure it loads on every single page, we're going to do what's called an auto loader. So if I click on the button that says scene, sorry, project, and then project settings, and you do have to have the scene saved before you can do this, otherwise it won't show up. Um, the, normally you're on general for all the settings, but the one we're going to use is this one that says auto load. So I'm going to click on this file icon and then I'm going to select our HUD. So hopefully our HUD is here somewhere. There it is. So select the HUD and then press open. So now you can see we have it here. All we have to do now is just make sure we add it. So it's, it tells us the path, it tells us the name, and then we just have to press add. So now we press add, just make sure it's enabled and we are all good to go. That's pretty much saved everything that we need there. So we can close that. And that just enables it to, for what we, whatever we put on here to load on every single page. Okay, so now we've got the HUD, let's just go ahead and select it and let's add a new node. So the node we're gonna add this time is the canvas layer. So press the plus button and just start typing canvas. Now the, um, the canvas layer is quite interesting. What this allows um, it to do is to stay at the front of the screen. So you obviously don't want your score to be hidden behind stuff. So the canvas layer just makes sure that everything that you put on inside of this stays, stays on top of the scene. So if we click on this one that says canvas layer, and we're just going to rename, rename this to display. I've called it with a capital D. You'll probably need to reference this a bit later, okay? So just make sure yours says that as well. So the next thing that we need to do is add a label. Now, because we want it to appear on the front, what we need to do is press the display button and then we're gonna add a label. So from here, you're just gonna click on the plus icon again and then type in label. Okay, and it's this green one we want. So if we double click on this and then we have our label, notice the way that it indents. It means it belongs to the display. In order for it to show up on top, it has, has to belong to the display. So it has to be indented like this. I'm just going to double click and I'm going to call it score. I'm just going to use all uppercase for this. Okay. Now, let's add some text. So the text that we're going to add is score. And then I'm going to put a colon. And for now, I'm just going to put zero. It doesn't actually matter if we put zero um, because our script is going to take care of the, the points that we have eventually. So from here, let's just make it a bit bigger so we can see everything that's going on. Oh, hold on. We need to add. We need to add our font. So now we've got this selected. Let's just go ahead and add a custom font. So custom font, same as we did before. Let's click on this down arrow. Let's say dynamic font. And then let's click on the down arrow again and press edit. And then inside of the font menu, we're just going to add our font. So I've already got one loaded up here. So the one that I'm going to use is um, hot source. And remember, you can use any fonts. If you wanted to download a new font for your score, you can absolutely do that. It's not a problem. After that, I'm just going to go back up to settings and make it a bit bigger. So as you can see, the size of our screen is here and it looks quite small. So let's just let's go to about 50 out on the font and press enter. That should make it a bit bigger. Now, what's also going to happen is although our character has a scene, when this is when the HUD is displayed, it will actually display this box. So this element here can actually be positioned anywhere inside of this box and it will move along with the character. So I'm just going to move it in a little bit just so it's in a good place. Um, 
maybe a bit up. You can even create a bar there or something like that. You can you can actually design this however you want. It's completely up to you. So the final thing we're going to do before testing is we're just going to click on the HUD and we're going to add a script. We won't put anything in the script yet. We're just going to add it so it's there ready to go. So press the script icon. Um, make sure it goes into your scripts folder. So come down to the folder button, click on the scripts button here. So we get it in here. It's already called HUD, so we know what it's going to be attached to. And then press open, and then press create. Um, we've got our script. I'm, going to, I'm just going to go back to it. We don't quite need this yet. Just make sure it's attached to the right place. And then I'm just going to say save scene. And then just to make sure all my other scenes are saved, I'm going to say save all scenes. Now I'm going to go back to level one and hopefully all being well you should be able to see that score. Now let's just press run and see what happens. So there you go in the top right sorry top left you can see the, the score and as I move around you'll notice that it's, it's quite firmly pinned to that position. Um, and once again if you want to you can design this however you want. Now as I go over things now uh, I'm going to die to my death I need to do that again so I can show you that. So press it again. Now as I go over things you should start to notice that it always remains in front of things, okay? Let me try and make, make it to the end of this level. So as I move on to the next level you'll notice that the score remains there and the idea here is also is as you move levels because this is an auto loader it will always remain. So as you collect points um, the points will remain with you. And there you go. Okay, and hopefully I can show you that it stays in front. Let's see. There you go. So you can see that it stays in, in front of the scene. So get your HUD started, and in the next lesson we'll start scripting it so we can actually add points and things like that.